Hey guys, so for today's video I'm going to be doing my monthly February favourites and I think I'm going to start off with the non-beauty favourites, you know, mix things up a bit because I normally just leave it till the end and do my beauty favourites first but change it up. So we'll go. My first non-beauty favourite is this sippy cup from Urban Outfitters and this was in my last video which was my Manchester haul and this is just one of their sippy cups. They have a few different varieties of this with like different words on it but this one is just blue and it says it's just water I swear. I love these, I've wanted one for such a long time and I drink a lot of water anyway and I just think it gives it a bit more of an exciting experience whilst drinking water. I'm going to move on to my favourite tea of the month and it is this PG Tips Pure Green Tea and I posted an Instagram about this because um, I was ill and I kind of wanted some green tea. And they just come into like these little pyramid bags and it says that these pyramids are meant to... Um, plenty of space in our pyramid bags means more room for our great taste to infuse in your cup. So yeah, I just think the different way to get all the tea leaves like out of it and make you have a better cup of tea. And I love green tea and I love drinking this. What would be a favourites video if I didn't mention a song from Ben Howard? And um, my favourite song of the month has been She Treats Me Well. Um, it's on Spotify, uh, just listen to it. You, if you watch my videos or my favourites videos, especially you will know how much I love Ben Howard. I think he is my favourite artist and I could just listen to him all day every day. Um, but favourite song of the month has been She Treats Me Well. Second song has been from Codaline's new album and it is called Honest. Again, I love Codaline, I love listening to them and if you do have Spotify, they're probably in the adverts, like a click here to listen to Codaline's new album. And um, Honest is one of them, I think they've only released a few of the songs from it, but I have downloaded all of them and Honest has to be my favourite. Go check it out, I will leave links to those two songs, the kind of links that I can find, so go check them out if you want to because they're really good and I think you should listen to them. So moving on to my beauty favourites and I'm going to start off with hair and my favourite thing of the month has been this L'Oreal Matte and Messy Shine Free Salt Spray. Um, I have the old version of this but I'm running out so I've got a new one, they've kind of remade the packaging sort of thing. It's still in this round bottle but the print's kind of different. I love this salt spray, it doesn't make my hair too crispy. If I spray it into my hands first and then like brush it up into my hair, it just gives it a nice tasseled look. Um, I really like it and I think it does a good job of making my hair have those kind of beachy waves and I really like this and it's really inexpensive because obviously it's just L'Oreal. Now polish favourite of the month has been Essie's Bobbing for Baubles. This is like a dark navy blue, um, I love this, just one coat of this just kind of lasts which is like crazy like if you kind of need to redo your nails and you've only got like half an hour, one coat of this and it does the job for like a couple of days kind of tags you over. Really pretty shades and I love Essie polishes, especially this ones. Now onto like the makeup-y things and I'm going to start off with this lip balm and it's from Blistex and they're really really good if you've got chapped lips or really um, dehydrated like cracky lips and you just need a good conditioner or a treatment. They do have a treatment which I do have and they have like conditioners like this. This one I have to talk about, it's the most incredible thing that I've, oh, I, ugh, I don't even know how to explain it but it is a Blistex Orange Mango Blast and if you have Starburst, which you probably should, you should probably eat some Starburst because they are pretty good, smells and just like on your lips it like tastes exactly like, exact like the Orange Starburst and they are some of my favourites out of the whole pack, they're like the ones that go first and it's just the most Oh, I can't even explain how good this is. It just smells so similar to those. And it's really good and it's really good uh, product as well. It really does hydrate and condition your lips. So that's also a bonus. But I think the main fact that you should buy this is because of the smell and the taste. It's just, oh, it's so good. And this is a Rimmel Brow This Way Clear Brow Gel. I mean, this is really nice. I needed a new clear one and I kind of just picked this up because it was cheap. Um... So far so good, I've been using it all throughout the month and it kind of does set my brows in place without making them look too crispy. The wand, which I will just quickly show you, is um, really nice, it's just like an ordinary uh, wand, it's not too thin but it's not too thick, it's just kind of like a good size. And this 
packaging is really small so it's quite compact. I'm gonna move on to like face things and I've only have one and it is this sleek contour kit and I have mine in light and uh, this is just so pretty uh, if I hold the mirror like that. It's obviously just got the contour shade and then the highlight both of which are so good, especially if you've got pale skin like me. I would definitely recommend getting this if you're looking for a contour shade. It's just so good. And the brushes that I use for these, uh, the contour one is the Real Techniques Contour Brush. It just fits nicely into the hollows of your cheekbones and around your nose and stuff. It's really good to contour with. And then for the highlight shade, I use this e.l.f. blush brush because this is quite small, but it's tapered. So it's really good for getting that precise application and it just fits nicely. And I think it's about six or seven pounds, so it's an amazing price for the quality of the product because it's just really good. And the last things for this favourites video is lips. And I have three different ones. They're just my favourites that I've been using a lot during this month. And the first one is this Revlon Colour Burst Balm Stain in the shade Honey. Um, this is so pretty. It's like a nude kind of shade. Um, if I swatch it, like, here. Um, see it like that, it's really pretty, it does actually come out quite like the similar colour to the actual packaging which I think is really cool. With it being a stain, it stays on for a long time, it's really nice and it kind of gives a nice shine when you first apply it. Obviously the shine kind of dies down and then it's just a stain, really pretty and I love these Revlon Colour Burst Balm Stains. My next lip product is also by Revlon and it is one of the Matte Revolution lipsticks and it, this is in the shade Pink Pout and this apparently I've been reading up is an exact dupe for Max Snob which is the lips that I have wanted to get so if you're thinking about getting Snob or a shade similar to it definitely worth checking out Revlon's Pink Pout. This just swatches like so, so that's that shade here really pretty it's got like a purple undertone to it it's really nice it'll be so perfect for spring and summer um the matte collection for revlon is so creamy it's not drying at all and it's just a really really pretty color so definitely worth checking out revlon lipsticks and the last thing for this favorites video is this new mac lipstick called brave and this was shown in my haul video it's a satin it's so pretty um just swatch it and it's that one there it's so nice. I got this when I went to Manchester, so it's in my last video. So it is a new product, but I just love it. I've been wearing it nearly every day. Like, just combining these three lipsticks every single day throughout February. And it's just, it's so pretty. It's just kind of like a nude, but kind of slightly pinky. Um, just a really pretty colour. And with it being a satin finish as well, it's really comfortable to wear on the lips. And just... A great shade if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and as always i'm always open to any suggestions for any future videos so comment those down below and your thoughts on this video and as always please subscribe to my channel twitter instagram are in the description box so check me out and give me a follow if you want to um yeah i think that's all i have to say so again thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye